Good morning. So welcome back to my channel guys. Today is kind of an exciting day. It is Friday and it is also polling day. Today we have European and local elections in Ireland and we also have a referendum about divorce but it's not a really major referendum. It's just about whether or not we limit the amount of time couples have to live apart before they can get a divorce. At the moment it's like couples have to live apart for four years before they can get a divorce and I think the referendum is to shorten that down to two years. So not really a big referendum and then there's, as I said there's European and local elections so Elaine and I are going to go out to where my parents live because I'm still registered in that constituency. We're going to vote there then we're going to come back here and then she's going to vote here. So I've just picked up my polling card and we are heading down to the polling station now. Bye buddy, bye. So I voted and we're just walking back to my mom and dad's house now and we're gonna say hi to them for a couple of minutes and hang out very briefly and then we will head over so Elaine can vote. Elaine is just in voting now and Frank and I are outside the polling station and we're just waiting for her because we can't bring Frank into the polling station unfortunately. Good morning, so it is the next day and Elaine and I are in Phoenix Park, we're walking Frank right now and I've just been for a run around the park, I just did a 5k, I didn't do my park run this morning so I just decided to do a 5k in the Phoenix Park with some friends and I feel great after it. It was really, really just, I was tired this morning when I got up and now I just feel so much better and I'm so much more energized. And uh, yeah, I just feel fantastic. Oh, through the fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> Squirrels. Where? I just saw one over there. We're on our way back to the car right now and Frank saw squirrels. It took us ages to actually figure out what he was looking at, but he just like it's the most sort of dog we've seen him be since we got him and um, yeah he really wanted to chase those squirrels and he's out barking everything was so good to watch so elaine and i are out shopping and i'm in a shop called pennies which is known as primark in the uk basically i got a pair of jeans here uh, back in september sometime and they're like my favorite jeans that I have right now and I've worn them out so I've come in to try and see can I replace them now they don't have the same ones but I think I have a pair that are kind of similar so I'm just gonna go and try them on now so these new jeans fit perfectly and they're actually probably a little bit more comfortable than the ones I have but I don't know if I kind of like them as much I feel like the other ones are just cooler uh, yeah I don't know but they're not that expensive, they're only 23 euro, so I might just get them and see. And Elaine and I are now back home. So we stopped off on the way because it's something that I've wanted to get for the back garden for a couple of weeks now, and that is a compost bin. Our compost bin is just over here. The reason I wanted to get one of these is just because I've noticed that when I'm cutting the grass, we've loads and loads of garden waste and there's too much for us to put in our bins. Like we have like a brown bin, which is like a compostable bin that we don't pay extra for if it's below a certain weight. But whenever we do anything with the garden, if we use that bin, it's completely full and it means we can't use it then for anything else for the next two weeks. So I decided to get this compost bin so that we can put all of our garden waste in here. And I cut the grass like maybe five, six days ago and that's pretty gross, but that is all of our grass waste that we had. So the compost bin is already half full, 
from just cutting the grass one time. So you can see like this is how much the grass has grown already just in kind of almost a week. It's growing really really quickly and it always does at this time of year because we're getting quite a lot of sun. The weather is getting warmer and it seems to just be the perfect kind of weather for growing grass in Ireland. So like it already nearly needs to be cut again. Now the reason there was so much grass waste the last time is because the garden was completely overgrown. I've actually only cut the grass twice since we bought the house. Once a couple of months ago I borrowed my parents lawnmower and then just kind of last week I had to borrow my parents lawnmower again. Elaine and I actually do have a lawnmower that we got. So we got this lawnmower second hand. It was gifted to us from Elaine's aunt and her husband and it's great and we're like we can't wait to be able to get using it but it needs a service at the moment so I can't just go and cut the grass whenever I want I need to get the blades sharpened and get the oil changed in it and I'm gonna get that done as soon as possible so I think I'm gonna try and get it in to get that done sometime next week and then it'll probably take a couple of weeks for them to do it because just all of the companies that service lawnmowers are obviously really busy this time of year because everyone wants to do it. I also need to get a strimmer so I can cut the grass properly at the edges of the garden. It's really annoying that I kind of have the grass relatively short around the main part of the garden and then all the edges I still have really long tufts but actually because I do you can see just how long the grass was before I cut it. That's how high the grass was across the entire garden. It was completely overgrown and wild. So I was able to get a lot of it done just with my parents' lawnmower, but that obviously meant that we now have half a compost bin full. Hello, hi, thank you, thank you. So that obviously means that we have half a compost bin full already. I expect that when I do get the lawnmower service and I can cut the grass more regularly, that we won't have half as much compost waste and it'll be just so much more convenient and easy to use. Elaine and I have had our dinner and it was really nice and Frank is fed as well. So now I'm going to do my meal prep for next week and for whatever reason, I'm really not feeling doing my meal prep right now. I just really feel like I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it because I will be much happier when it's done. <music> For my lunches this week, I basically I did the chicken exactly the same way as you guys have seen me do in a previous video, but I used a different seasoning. I used we have it's like it's called chips seasoning or chips spice or so what's it called? French fry seasoning. Yeah, basically it's meant to just make things taste like the kind of chips that you get if you're in a restaurant or like a fast food diner or something. So that's what I used on my lunch this week, just to kind of make it a little bit different. And yeah, it's now it means that my lunches are done and I don't have to think about them for the rest of the week, which is great. It's kind of getting close to that time when I can just put my feet up and relax for the evening. And I feel like I want to have a drink. So I'm going to make a vodka martini. So a couple of years ago, I was in Canada with my friend Kieran, and he introduced me to Crystal Head Vodka and I really really like it and the bottle is the coolest thing ever it's shaped like a crystal skull and this is the bottle so this is what it looks like and I just think that is so so cool but the problem with crystal head vodka in Ireland is it's not the easiest thing to get most places don't sell it and like so it's kind of awkward to buy and the places that do sell it, it's quite expensive. It's 60 euro a bottle. So when that bottle finished, I just had, um, I got some Smirnoff and I poured it into it and I've been drinking um, just Smirnoff vodka for the last while. Cause it's, it's a nice vodka, but it's like, when you're used to drinking Crystal Head vodka, it's like, it's just not the same. Like Crystal Head vodka is so, so much nicer. But a couple of years ago, I was watching a vlog by Julian Solomita and he was drinking Tito's vodka and he really recommended it. 
and I always like had it in the back of my head that that's something that I wanted to try sometime. When I was over in London a couple of weeks ago with Elaine, I was out with Elaine's brother and I saw Tito's in one of the bars. So I ordered a glass of it and I really, really liked it. So I have found that in our local supermarket, they sell Tito's and I was able to buy this bottle of vodka today which is the same volume, it's a 700ml bottle of vodka, same as the Crystal Head bottle that I have, and it's only 40 euro. And at the time when I was drinking the Tito's, I felt like this is at least as nice as the Crystal Head vodka. It may even be slightly nicer. So with that in mind, I bought the bottle of Tito's today because I needed new vodka anyway, and I wanted a nicer vodka than Smirnoff but I didn't want to have to pay 60 euro for another bottle of Crystal Head. So I went with the Tito's and I'm gonna have a bit of it now. I'm gonna make a martini with it because the one thing is I, like when I drink vodka, I generally drink it as a vodka martini and I really liked the Crystal Head vodka martinis. So I'm excited to try the Tito's in a vodka martini. And I'm just gonna have like a little nip of it just on its own first. So I just poured a half measure of vodka into the glass because I just want to see if it's as nice as I remember. Oh my god, that is so good. It's so smooth. Like the Smirnoff is always really sharp when you drink it. Like this is going to make it sound awful, but I always get like a kind of a paint stripper vibe from it. And like Smirnoff is a nice vodka, but this doesn't give me a paint stripper vibe at all. It is just really, really delicious if that makes sense like if you like vodka i think you'll know what i mean when i say like it's a really smooth it's almost sweet but it's like it's very much a vodka taste and yeah it's just it's really tasty i do still think that that could be nicer than crystal head like it's like crystal head is still a little bit sharp and this isn't and it's just this is really really good it pains me to say this but i may have a new favorite vodka I'm gonna make my martini now and hope that it's as good as the vodka on its own. I suspect it will be because the vodka just tastes amazing. So for anyone who doesn't know how to make a vodka martini, it's very, very easy. You just get a shaker and you use the very top of the shaker as your measure. So the way you make a vodka martini is it's a three to one ratio of vodka and martini. So one, two, three. And one of martini. And then you just shake that over ice and you pour it out. That's not all that I like to put in my martinis because I like to have my vodka martinis dirty. So what that means is I put olives in them. And if you're putting olives in them, a little trick that I learned kind of by accident is that if you put the brine from the olives in with the vodka and the martini, before you shake it, it just, it makes it like way saltier and you just get that kind of salty olive flavor mixed into the drink, like much stronger than you would if you just put the olives in. And uh, it is just, it really adds so much more to the martini. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Just jar of olives. Carefully pour the olive brine in so you don't wanna pour the olives in as well. And I like to put in like, three ice cubes or four ice cubes, whatever. So four ice cubes in this one, three or four, makes no real difference. And now you just shake it up. And that's pretty much it. While I was putting all that together, I just had my glass back in the fridge. You should always, always, always chill your martini glass before you start. I'm sorry, I should have said that before I said anything else about making the martini, but I mean, you don't have to, but it does make it a lot nicer if the glass is cold. So it's quite yellow and it's a little cloudy. And the reason it's this yellow and cloudy is because I put the brine from the olives in. If I hadn't done that, it would be a lot more clear and a lot less yellow, but it should be very nice this way. Oh, 
Oh my god, that is so good. Yeah, I think definitely Tito's is my new favourite vodka. Sorry Crystal Head, but this stuff is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to enjoy my martini and just take it easy for the rest of the evening. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Oh, you're so...